Hey guys, welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. Today I have got to prepare meals for the week since Steven started his new job. And one thing that I have enjoyed making him over the last couple of years since we did keto, I found this recipe and it is cauliflower mac and cheese. So first we've got to get our head of the cauliflower cut up and get it boiling. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so that's gonna cook for a little over five minutes because Stephen does not like his crunchy. He cannot stand crunchy vegetables, broccoli, carrots, nothing like that. So that's going to cook for a little over five minutes and I cut it up really fine so that way it shouldn't take as long to cook. So we're gonna get our next ingredients together and uh, get ready for the next step. I'm going to clean up just a little bit and we are going to let our cheese mixture melt all together. Make sure you keep it stirred so it doesn't brown on the bottom. We're going to drain out the cauliflower and then we're going to pop it in a preheated, preheated oven for at 375 for 15 minutes until bubbly. So once I get that drained, this melted, and together I'll show you what it looks like pre pre-baked. And then we'll put it in the oven, bake it for about 15 minutes, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so a few things about the cauliflower. Um, make sure that you drain it out really, really well. Shake it. You can push on it a little bit if you need to because you need to get more water out of it before you start cooking it um, because it'll make that cheese sauce really watery. Whenever you get it out to um, reheat it, um, whether it's in the microwave, whether it's on the stove, however you reheat your food, if you do leftovers, then uh, it may be watery. So you can pour that off and it actually makes it thicker over time. Um, the more it sits and the, the more that water pulls out of it, it does make it a lot thicker. You don't have to put that extra cheese on top if you don't want to. 
and I would suggest leaving it uncovered whenever it is baking in the oven just so some of that water can evaporate out off of the cauliflower um, because if you put aluminum foil over it it's going to hold it in and steam the cauliflower even more that may be one thing that you want to try maybe one time with it on one time with it off I just cook mine with it off until it's bubbly it takes between 10-15 minutes and then the cheese and everything will be melted on top if you want the crusty top you can turn it on broil at the end for just a couple of minutes and crisp that cheese up on top if you want to if not then it'll be ready in just a few minutes and i'll show you what it looks like Well guys, don't that look fabulous? I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit, quit bubbling, and then I'll show you the sauce that we created. It should be good and stringy. If it's not in you like yours good and stringy, then go ahead and put some extra cheese in it. Um, or you can cook it just a little bit longer to help evaporate some of that moisture out of there. So, I hope you like this recipe and I hope you try it. You can also go and put um, any kind of herbs or spices or whatever you want to in here you can put bacon bits if you want um, you can leave it a little crunchy you can make it a little more soggy whatever you want however your palate likes it so um, let me show you what it looks like here in just a few minutes and I will see you next time guys bye